Hasidic gems on Akedas Yitzchak. The Akeda is something that we bring up throughout the Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur davening, and we'll hear the Hasidic gems on it. It says in the Pasuk, Avram Avinu says to Yitzchak, uh, uh, the Rebbein Shalom says to Avram Avinu, Kachno es bincho es yechidcho asher ahavta es Yitzchak v'haleu. Take your son, your only son, the son whom you love, es Yitzchak v'haleu, v'haleu, um, and bring him there as a burnt offering. That's the simple. The Hasidic Torah say, "Es Yitzchak v'haleu." You think Yitzchak means Yitzchak? Yitzchak means laughter and joy. Tzchak. Every every person has to bring 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 his joy and, and his, his laughter uh, to heaven, that everything, all his maizim, everything that he does, should be l'shem shemayim. When a person rejoices, when a person is in simcha, he should bring that also up to Hashem, and it should also be l'shem shemayim, not l'shem hailelus, not, not just for, for, for having fun, but it should be L'shem Shemayim, to accomplish something for heaven with it. Harav HaKodesh, Rabbi Yisrael Baal Shem Tov. The Pesach continues, Hasidic Gems, continuing Hasidic Gems, Vayashkeim Avrom Baboiker, Vayachvosh Eschamoiroi. Avrom Avinu is ready to go to the Akeda. He gets up in the morning and he saddled his donkey, that's the simple. When it says Vayashkeim, you think it means getting up early? It means Bimei Hanurim in your youth. At the early part of life, Baboiker, Yashkeim Baboiker, we have to saddle our Chumrias. Our Gashmias, our materialism, we have to restrain ourselves from just going and, and, and living a life of Gashmias. We have to devote, dedicate our lives to Ruchnias. We should be Zeicha to this. Amen. Start at young, start young to learn how to restrain ourselves from Gashmias. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Akedis Yitzchak, Vayikach eshnei na'ora vitoi. He took the two youths with him. On his way to the Akedah with Yitzchak, he took along the two youths, his two youths, Yishmuel and Eliezer. That's the simple. The Hasidic Torah Chorava Kodesh Reb Simcha Buna Mi Parshischa says that Shnei Naorav. You think it means his two lads? It means the enthusiasm of the years of his youth. When he went there, he went there like a young young man to the Akeda, running to do it to do the will of Hashem. And that's the way we have to do mitzvahs. No matter how difficult they are, if they're difficult, no matter how difficult, we have to run to them because that's what Hashem wants. He took the years of his youth with him. He took the Islavas, the enthusiasm of his youth with him. Vayavaka atzei oilo. He cut wood when he started out to go to the Akeda, he took from his home, from where he was, he cut wood to go to the Akeda. And the question is, why did he cut the wood? Why didn't he wait till he got there? Why didn't he wait till he got to the Akeda to cut wood? Chasidish tell us, 
he thought maybe if he waited till he got to the place of the Akeda, he thought maybe his enthusiasm would weaken. Right now, he was starting out, he started out, and he was going full force, with full enthusiasm to do what Hashem wants, but he was afraid maybe that if he would wait to cut the wood when he got to the place of the Akeda, it would, it would lessen. He wanted to make sure that the Islavas, the enthusiasm was full. Doing with Hasidic gems on Akedas Yitzchak, by Avaka Atzei Oilo, he cut wood for the carbon, for the for the Oilo, for the burnt offering that was to be. Um, that's the simple. The Hasidic Shetayrelach translate Atzei Oilo, meaning Eitzes, solutions, ways for Avram Avinu to ascend, Oila, to go to greater heights. That's what, his, that's what he was doing and that was on his mind constantly. Atzei Oila, Eitzes, Eitzes, how to grow and, and to grow in, in Ruchnius. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Akedas Yitzchak. So it says in the Torah, Vayar es hamokim mirochik. He saw the place from far. He saw where, where his destination will be to bring, to bring Akedas Yitzchak, to, be, to bring Yitzchak to the Akedah. That's the simple. He saw, Rashi says, Onon Koshur, he saw a cloud attached to the top of the mountain. He knew that this was the mountain. That's the simple. The Hasidic Eternalach tell us, Mokai means HaKadosh Baruch Hu, many times, of course. So the Pasuk says, he saw HaKadosh Baruch Hu from far. Not of course, he, he, of course he didn't see HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but his closeness to the Ruchnius of, of being close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu was at somehow at a distance. Why? Because Zokt Horav HaKadosh Reb Avrom he says that that Min they took away his levels, his tremendously high levels of Yitzchak, because if they would have left Yitzchak on the level that he really was, the whole Nisoy, the Akeda would not be any Nisoyin whatsoever, would not be any test, because he was so great and so holy that it would be not even a test for him to do it. So he had to see Hashem Meirochek, he had to see Hashem not really seeing Hashem, but he had to, his closeness to Hashem was at a distance a little bit, so he should, so the Akedah should be for him a test. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Akedah Yitzchak, so it says in the Torah that Avram Avinu took along Esva Eish Ves Hamacheles. He took along the fire, he needed to bring a carbon. So he, uh, he took along the fire and he took along the wood with the macheles. Macheles means the knife. That's the simple. See, the Chutayrullah tell us that Avram, on his way to the Akeda, was arming himself with schusim, with schusim, with merits. To help him, to help him on the way to the Akeda, either they shouldn't have to go through the Akeda or, or whatever the help was. Avram, Avram Avinu took with him the zechuyos, the merits, eswaish, the merits of the fire, his mesiris nefesh, when he when he when he when he went into the. 
Kivshen Ha'esh, he went to a fiery furnace to sanctify Hashem's name. That was the schus he took with him. Ves HaMa'acheles, you think Ma'acheles means a knife? Ma'acheles means the fact that he was Machnes Orchim, and he was Machel people, so many people. Those were the schusim. With that he, he, he fortified himself. He prepared himself to go to Akedah Yitzchak, and Hashem should help him. A sikum of the Hasidic, of the Hashkafis HaToyra that we see in the Hasidic gems. We learned that everything we should do, our kavana should be L'Shem Shemayim, everything, even laughter, even joy, even, ja, even whatever, whatever we do, we should have in mind L'Shem Shemayim, not just for... Um, fun, joy, but whatever we do, we should we should bring it up. It should be kavonosa, kavonaseinu l'shamay. We learned that from the early youth, we should learn to restrain our desires for materialism. From the early youth, we should restrain. We should control. Be able to control our desires for materialism. We learned that we should always, every mitzvah we do, we should do it with tremendous enthusiasm. And like, like, young, like young lads, we have to train ourselves to be able to do that. Avram Avinu was only interested that, um, that his enthusiasm shouldn't wane at all. Every time he does something, it should be with full, full, full enthusiasm. We learned that Avram Avinu's mindset was only atze ola, to, for, to look for advice and solutions to be able to ascend to greater spiritual heights. And that should be our, our, uh, our goals also. We learned that, um, that, Avram, that Yitzchak, that, um, Avram was on such an incredible level of, of holiness, of, of, of ruchnius, that in order for the Akeda to be a Nisoyon, he had to be, it had to be taken away from him. His high, uh, his high levels had to be reduced somewhat um, so that he should be able to have the uh, Akeda as a Nisoyon. He was on such an incredibly high level. And we also learned that the schusim of Kivshan Aish jumping into a fiery furnace to sanctify Hashem's name, tremendous schusim, feeding Urchim, tremendous schusim, those are the schusim he went to the Akeda with. And we should all learn from Avram how to do these things, what to do. We should all be zeichet to this and have a ksiv Lonu Lucho Yisrael Amen Hashem Shed Avrachmanis and and each individual Hashem Shed Avrachmanis and the entire Klal Yisrael um, we should be zeichet to exceed v'chsimatayv Lonu Lucho Yisrael Amen v'yamen.